Today, you'll be cooking in pairs. So, Chloe, winning the mystery box challenge at the start of the week didn't get you just straight through to the immunity challenge, but it also won you a little something else, which is... But you can choose who you cook with today. Oh. <laughs> choose very, very wisely, because at the end of the day, you want one of these. Yep. Chloe has a massive advantage because although we're all strong cooks, I feel that Matt is the strongest competition and she can really play strategically. So who's it going to be, Chloe? Matt. Yeah. Chloe's picked me today. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. There's some high expectations there. I don't want to drop the ball today. Shannon, confident you can strike gold again? As always, double trouble today. But channeling what you've learnt in the past, listening to me, and it's success all the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's all about twos. Two pins, two teams of two, and two rounds. If you want to cook for that pin, you need to win round one. To win that first round, you're going to have to use what's under here. What's it going to be? Shannon, ready to show them what's underneath? Certainly am. confident with this challenge. I make heaps of jaffles at home, so I'm hoping we have this. It's been years since I've cooked a jaffle. I didn't see that coming. That's right. It's a mighty jaffle line. That's awesome. Back from last season, one of our, our favourite challenges. Each team has 45 minutes to bring us two jaffles, one savoury, one sweet. You have an open pantry. Be bold, surprise us. Produce the best two jaffles, you know where you're going. Round two, and a chance to cook for both those pins. Oh, my God, we got this. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Your 45 minutes starts now. As soon as we heard that it had to be one sweet, one savoury, it wasn't even a discussion. We both just knew, we looked at each other and went, Savory? Yeah. Um, what do you think of this week? I was thinking maybe like an apple pie with like a spiced dust and a yep. cream or something. Yeah, yeah. So Carmen's going to do sweet and I'm going to do savoury today. I know that Carmen is just a gun, especially if it's desserts. So Carmen and I could definitely beat Matt and Chloe. We're feeling really confident. Heading up, Maddie. Yeah. sort of a roast beef with cheese and onion. The most important thing to get right with this jaffle is to make it really nice and cheesy and make it feel like it's a leftover roast in there. I'm making a sweet jaffle. I'm doing raspberry curd with dark chocolate and pistachio. We are working as a team. These jaffles have to be complementary, so when the judges eat the savoury and then the sweet, they have to work well and not have flavours that conflict with each other. I'm going to be doing the sweet jaffle and I immediately think of my grandma and my mom's apple pie. They both make such a good apple pie. It's a recipe that's been in our family, so that's what I want to incorporate today. Maddie, I'm going to caramelise these apples in the brown sugar first. What do you yep. reckon? Yep. So I peel some green apples and I put them into a saucepan with the brown sugar to caramelise them. Chloe? Yeah. Spoons. They're here. I've got them. Oh, Working with Chloe in the kitchen today, it's like a mixed doubles in tennis. Maddie, I just turn my machine on. Yep. Cool. Turn yours on. You both know where you need to be, and you, you both know that that person's got your back, and they're going to be there to catch the ball that you can't. I'm doing the savoury jaffle, like a Middle Eastern spiced mints and caramelised fennel, and a curry, curry aioli. I'm fighting a bit of a battle with myself up on this one. If there's one thing that I relate to a jaffle, it's cheese. But I'm going with a Middle Eastern style jaffle, and the cheese just doesn't go with the flavours that I'm using today. So yeah, putting it together in a really different way today, but we'll see what happens. 
Just hoping that the creaminess from that curry aioli is going to counteract the lack of cheese. Matt, wow, man. So you're the savoury guy, right? I'm taking the savoury today. Yep. Good. Middle Eastern spices in there. That's interesting. So how do you get the curry uh, mayo into the chaffle? Yeah. OK. Do you know how that's going to yeah. react with the mince? When the judges come over, they throw a bit of a spanner in the works and they're questioning me on, on the composition of the dish. It always puts that big question mark over your head. I mean, everything is possible. Yeah, but a curry, you know, Jaffel's a great idea. Yeah, great I've never idea. done it. Have you done it? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you find another way to do this dish? Do you do a completely different dish or do you, do you go with your gut instincts? Yeah, I'm just going to stick with the idea and try to execute it the best I can. So, yeah, hopefully... Hopefully today it doesn't work against me. You can tell it's a Jaffel challenge. You're pressed for time. 30 minutes to go! Come on, guys. Come on, Bama. Come on, Mimi. Come on, Holly! Holly, how is it? Yeah, it's good. Good. Go, Cameron. Go, 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 go. I'm making a sweet raspberry curd and chocolate ganache shuffle. Good stuff, Carmen. I know I want something liquid in that centre of the jaffle, so when you bite into it, it just oozes out. But to make it more interesting, I want a two-tone ooze. I want it to be runny and coming out. Yum. I really want this two-tone marbled effect, but I'm really worried that the two mixtures will just mix together and create this yucky brown colour. Is it thick enough, Carmen? Yeah, but I want it to be oozy if yeah. it cooks in the thing and, yeah, like, right. sets. And... Yeah, right. Yeah, I think we have a good chance of winning today. But I've got to make sure the curd is just the right consistency. All of these guys are going in all guns blazing. Two immunity pins and one challenge. Go, guys. Looking good. Mimi, what are you making? Um, making roast beef jackal with heaps of cheese and a caramelised onion jammy thing. I've got my caramelised onions on the go and my steak on the pan. I've grabbed an eye fillet because I think it's really nice and tender and it's something that can be cooked really quickly. How's your steaks, Mimi? Yeah. I'm just going to cook the steak to rare. Yeah, that's good, good Mimi. Mimi. Oh, that done. Quicker, quicker. Mimi? So you're going to have to put these little steaks inside the jacket? I'm going to slice them up. Uh, OK, but won't they overcook by the time the jaffel cooks? I have made a steak jaffel before, but from leftovers, so I hadn't even thought about how my steak was going to cook further when I put it into the jaffel. They're a bit under. Are they? That's medium well. I realised that I've definitely overcooked the steak. I'm just thinking, oh my god, what have I done?